he must feel he can win the game with the ball more than he can defensively right now. Well, he went after Evans that time. Both coaches very animated, very focused. Evans only two out of five from the line this evening. He's taking a chance, 40%. He's been clutch in this quarter, though. He just hit that big jumper. This is the play that got Erie to within two. You can see the long lob over the top. Coleman with another great catch. Balance up in. 25 Back in the live game. action. Evans. Second. His throw. Oh, Ryan had that roll up his arm. Second foul shot makes it a two possession ball game now. Duck almost seconds. stepped out. Duck flying through. He almost walked ball loose. What do we got? We got a foul. That's on Harry and it's on Duck and it's his fifth and he's gone. Oh, that's a huge turn of events with 45 seconds to go. The senior point guard is gone and here's how it happens. Well, he makes the penetration here and instead of dishing it off under control, he kind of rides on through and then reaches back as he loses control of the basketball and gets called for the foul. Here's a little better angle that we can see it from. He comes in, he penetrates too far. Actually, it was a walk. He loses the ball and then comes back to try to get it and fouls on the play. Duck now out of the basketball game. He shakes hands with his teammates, says, hey, do it for me, guys. I can't do any more. You'll have to do it some other way. That's a huge loss for them. They lose their general, their traffic cop. And just to show you the emotions of this game, Damian Hunter and Eric Evans walk up and hug him as he goes to the bench. You talk about appreciation of this game tonight. I think these players appreciate the kind of state championship game they've been in here this evening as they hug each other over on the side. They appreciate the competition and appreciate what the competitors have done as Duck checks out of the game and Fomich now back in for him. Well, I think you can safely assume, Gary, since they went to quad A, that this is the best of this bracket ever played in this building. I want to tell you what, it's a, I've seen a lot of games in this building over the years. I've played in one of them. And I'll tell you what, it's the best I've seen, period, in a lot of years here at Hershey Park Arena. 67 to 63 with 45 seconds to go. Lonzo Lewis getting ready to make a defensive substitution here, I believe probably for the shooter. No. He's going to bring him in instead for uh, Evans. Evans. Who got hit with two fouls back in the first quarter. I mean, he is like the old baseball card box in the attic. He's been hitting with foul trouble. He'll send Evans back up there. Hamler missed it. Erie Prep has a chance. Two possession game. They need two buckets here to get tied or get the lead. Nice has got a hot hand from three. He left it short that time. This rebound comes to Carroll, and they put an 80% foul shooter on the line. He just had the foul there after the miss by Nice from the corner. Good defensive pressure from Chester. They sense the win right now. Herman Harris picks up the foul. Here you see it. Ball very, very short. Ball picked up by Chester, quickly fouled on the other side. I said Herman Harris was a mistake. Belock picks up the foul for the prep team. Raymond Carroll ran to the other side of the free throw line. He wants the ball in this spot. Raymond Carroll has been a gamer all night so far. Carroll with 20 points in the basketball game. He's looking for 21 here. Some clapping at the foul line. Which Carroll with a big smile goes across the face. He knows his team's close. You can see him right now. But the, the concentration official. now comes back onto the face as well. See the official. It was an emotion. Fomich was clapping as Carroll was he's to the right of your screen wearing number 21. The official walked up and told him not to clap as he was going to the free throw. Believe it or not, this five-point lead, the biggest lead of the night for Chester. Carroll Cavone. Marabu does not want timeout. 33 seconds left in the game. Full court pressure to make Erie Prep take time off the clock. Fomich is going to have to get it done at the point guard spot. Gets it across. He's also a good outside threat, as is Jeb Ryan. Ryan for three. Left it short. Coleman trying to bat up for the rebound. Chester all over him. Jump ball. The arrow at Cathedral Prep for now. That'll save him with 21 seconds to go. Desperation time for Erie Prep. They've got to have two big ones here. They need two threes. It's a two possession game for them. They've got to have two threes. It can be nothing else. They don't have time for three possessions in 21 seconds. they got to get a quick timeout after a main basket. If they're fortunate enough to get it with the way Chester's playing on defense. Leading by six at 69-63. Fomich 
Ryan's got a good look at it, partially blocked by Evans on the way through. The rebound to Chester, and it comes to Hamler. Evans erases maybe the final try here by Erie Prep. As Ryan had the three-point shot, he had squared up. Evans, a much smaller player, came flying out of nowhere to get a piece of it, knocked the shot away. There it is, you see it, nice clean piece of the basketball. Rebound by Chester, fouled by Prep, and the Chester fans here are delirious already. Last year, Chester was upset by Hazelton in the Eastern Final and didn't get a crack at Cathedral Prep in the championship game as we look at some of that fierce action in the painted area tonight. The meeting of two great programs here tonight and probably one of the best games we've ever talked about, seen, heard, or watched. In quad A for sure. Missing the front end. Eric clings to life. Ball still loose. Hamler scrambles out. They'll give it to Prep with nine seconds left. Two long possessions that Cathedral Prep has to make up in nine seconds. Almost an impossible task. That's only the third turnover for Chester tonight. Outstanding job handling the ball for the Clippers. Ryan Quick, seven seconds left. Ryan just goes all the way. That'll do it. Chester doesn't even have to inbound. They do to Hunter. And that'll do it. Chester has won it. An incredible ball game tonight. They win the Quad A State Champs and seize the title from Erie Cathedral Prep in as good a basketball game as you can watch anywhere, anytime, anywhere. Outstanding character shown on both teams. He had an incredible number of lead changes, an incredible number of ties, an incredible effort, and an incredible finish. Let's go to Bill Richardson, who's in the middle of the den for some final thoughts. Bill? An outstanding game to watch, an outstanding game to have been a participant in, and I'll tell you, if you're a fan, you got your money's worth here tonight. What a great basketball game, and again, we've talked about how many times, no winners, no losers, but the fans have got their money's worth, and the fans got a chance to see some real sportsmanship here at the end, because everybody's taking a chance to congratulate each other. And I think it's a real, real show of uh, class by both sides. Great game. Celebration becomes all that more intense when you played in a game that was a white knuckle job from start to finish. Cathedral Prep showing obvious class. They're just a storied program, and they've had a marvelous run this year. And uh, I have a feeling these two teams are going to square off again from time to time with a lot of on the line like it was this evening. There are no time ties in basketball. One of these programs had to win, one had to lose tonight. Tonight it was Chester's turn. Chester truly a team victory here tonight with 12 players playing in the basketball game and they can all share